So imagine you're at the end of your day, you're driving home, or maybe you're already home and you look at the clock and you start to get that churning in the pit of your stomach, not knowing what you're gonna find when you walk in that front door, what you're gonna have to deal with when he comes through the front door. Anyone who has experienced emotional abuse knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm Dr. Denise Dart, and today we're going to be talking about the chaos, the unpredictability that is so inherent in emotionally abusive relationships. So what happens is that in the beginning, particularly if you are with a narcissistic emotional abuser, in the beginning, everything you do is wonderful. It's perfect. He loves you just the way you are. And then once things start to shift, it seems you can't do anything right. But you try. You try even harder. And he just shifts the goalpost. So as you try to figure out what needs to be done to get the relationship back to the way it was in the beginning, you may or may not know it, but you're doing all the work. And yes, the goalpost is moving. And no, you won't ever reach it. But what happens inside you is this constant churning of anxiety, of walking on eggshells, of knowing that once this relationship was not only good, it was fabulous, and now it's devastating. It's anxiety provoking. It's demeaning. It's all of these things. And therein lies the very dynamic that keeps people sucked into these relationships. If you've never been in an emotionally abusive relationship, it's really easy from the outside looking in to say, why doesn't she just leave? Why doesn't he just leave? And yet there is a cycle, a self-reinforcing cycle that good conscientious people get sucked into wanting to take responsibility perhaps for your part and do what you can to get the relationship back to the way it was. The problem is that the way it was, was just smoke and mirrors. It wasn't true in the way it was presented to you. And so therein lies that awful feeling in the pit of your stomach of not knowing what's gonna happen next. One minute this person's happy, the next minute they're yelling at you, raging at you, or doing something passive aggressive that lets you know very clearly um, that you're not okay, that you're not doing things right. And so if you are wondering the state of your relationship. Think about how you feel as you're driving home, as you put your hand on the door handle to go into your home, or as you are there waiting for this person to walk through the door, not knowing to be excited, to be afraid. And unfortunately, what happens is a mix of all of them. And this mix of emotions, this anxiety, this increase in the cortisol levels in your body are destroying your emotional and physical health. There's chaos, there's unpredictability in almost every single thing. And your mind wants to tell you that you can figure it out, you can change behavior, you can do something differently, you can fix it. I'm here to tell you, you can't. I believe in relationships, I believe in commitment, I believe in marriage. And when you are in a relationship with someone who's healthy, sure, you might go through bad times like this, but it doesn't last day in and day out. It doesn't leave you feeling fearful and uncertain. So if you feel this way inside, you can stop looking to the other side and saying, is he narcissistic? Wondering, is he narcissistic? Is he really abusive? Am I just being too sensitive? Like he says, all of these things. Forget about that. You don't need to figure that out. Listen to yourself. Listen to your emotions. Listen to that inner voice. Listen to the fear and the uncertainty 
perhaps you never had before you were in this relationship. If you find yourself walking on eggshells, something is terribly, terribly wrong. So signing out here, Dr. Denise Dart, I have been where you are, luckily a long time ago, and I am here to help. So let's stay connected. I'll look forward to seeing you next week.